Hey guys, this is Sam Chivit with another tutorial whether how we can record customer discount in QuickBooks Desktop. Well, offering discount can be an effective marketing tool for a business as it differentiates it from its competitors and also attracts new customers. And above that, it also encourages existing customers to make more business. Anyhow, before recording customer discount, we need to set up few things like discount account, terms and subtotal so that we can apply it correctly. And in this tutorial, I will apply discounts to invoices, payments and receipts, keeping the scenarios in mind where we use terms to induce our customers to make outstanding payments early and where we don't. So go to items and services list to see whether we already have a discount account or not. And search discount here in this field. And here you can see that after searching, nothing showed up. It means no discount account has been set up so far. So to set up one, click on new under item. Here under the type field, select discount. You can name it whatever you want and write the description if there is a need. And also you can make it a sub account too. And here in this field, you have both the options. Either you can add your discount in terms of dollar amount or in terms of percentage. Remember, if you put it as a percentage, you have to add the percentage sign too. Anyhow, here you need to assign an account to it so that QuickBooks can track it properly. If you already have one, just select it. And if you don't, click on add new and create one. Well, you can create and assign either an income or expense account to it. If you create an income account, it will track it as a negative value and will show its impact under gross profit. And if you create an expense account, it will track it as a positive value and will show its impact under net profit. So it's really a matter of choice how you want to track it. And in this tutorial, I'm creating it as an income account to assign and track it. And here you can see that the discount account has been created and assigned. And then click on OK. Now let's set up terms and to set up terms, go to list and select terms list under customer and vendor profile list. And by default, QuickBooks has already set up some terms for us, but to make it clear, I'm creating new one. So click on terms and select new. Here add net days and then add the number of days you are offering a discount for. And if the customer pays within these certain days, you will give him a certain percentage as discount and then give it a name and click on OK. And here you can see that a new term has been set up. Now let's set up subtotal. So go to items and services list and search subtotal. And here you can see that it showed up, which means we already have created it in our previous tutorial. And I will give its link in the description where you will be able to see how it's set up and applied. Well, we have just set up discount account, terms and subtotals. Now let's apply discount while creating invoices. And while creating invoices, I will apply discount with and without using terms. So go to create invoices and select your customer. Well, to keep it simple, I have selected services invoice template but you sure can select the one of your choice, which may or may not give you more options. Now add some items to your invoice. And when you will add discount to your invoice, it will apply to the immediate line above it, ignoring the other items added to the invoice which is not what we wanted. And what we wanted to apply to all the items added above it. So instead of applying discount like this, first we need to add subtotals. So right click on it and delete the line. And then add the subtotal first.
which will give us the total amount of all the items we have added above the subtotal. And when we apply the discount now, it will calculate the discount amount accurately. Well, on the other hand, you sure can overwrite it. Like if you don't want to give your discount in terms of percentage, you sure can overwrite it and can add a fixed dollar amount. Well, for the time being, I'm keeping it as a percentage. And you may have observed that I didn't add any terms to this invoice, which I will when I will create a new invoice. So just click on save and close to record your invoice. And when you go to receive payment and select your customer, you will see no discount information here because the discount has already been applied to the invoice. So just select the invoice and make changes according to your need. And then click on save and close to get paid. Now let's create another invoice and add some items. And instead of applying discount to the invoice, let's add some terms this time. Which means that if this customer makes payments within 12 days, he will get 4% discount on this invoice. Let's the invoice date is 2nd March. Which means that if this customer pays till 14th March, he will be entitled to receive 4% discount we offer to get payment as early as possible. And then click on save and close after making changes if needed. And as soon as you will click on save and close, QuickBooks will give you a prompt mentioning that you have changed the terms. Just click on yes to record the invoice. And when you will select your customer under receive payments, QuickBooks will inform you that this customer has a discount against this invoice on the basis of the terms we have applied. And when you click on discount and credit, it will not only give you the full information of the invoice, but also calculate the amount of the discount for you. And when I change the date exceeding the suggested discount limit, which is 14th March, and reselect the invoice, the discount prompt against this invoice disappears. And when I go to discount and credit, it does give me the terms information, but it does not calculate the discount amount anymore because the suggested discount amount limit has gone. So to apply the discount, I'm changing the date back within the suggested discount amount limit. And then go to discount and credit. Well, you still have the option to overwrite it. And then select the discount account. But to keep it simple, I'm going with the suggested discount. Then click on save and close and record the payment. Now let's create another invoice which includes both the discount and terms. And here you can see that the total amount of the invoice was 950. Out of which we already have applied some discount which decreased the invoice amount to 902.5. And above it we offered more discount in terms of applying terms to this invoice to get the payment as early as possible. So record this invoice by clicking on save and close. And then go to receive payment and select the customer. 
and as soon as you will select the customer it will give you a prompt as it did before so just go to discount and credit and apply the discount and click on save and close to record the payment now let's apply discount while receiving payments so create another invoice I remove the terms if show up and then click on save and close to record the invoice now go to the receive payment and select your customer here go to discount and credit after selecting the invoice you are receiving your payment against it and then write your discount in terms of fixed dollar amount and then click on done after assigning your discount account and here you can see that the discount has been applied to this payment and then click on save and close to record the payment now let's apply customer discount to sales receipts so go to create sales receipts and select your customer and add some items and subtotal And here you can see that we don't have discount and credit option here. So add your discount as a line item. Which you sure can overwrite if you want. And then record it by clicking on save and close after making some changes according to your needs. And when you go to profit and loss statement here you can see that the discount has been calculated under gross profit and it's just because that I have created the discount account as an income account and if you create the discount account as an expense account it will calculate it under net profit and if you double click on the discount it will open the discount account report which you can customize according to your need and analyze for future decision making. Anyhow, this is how you can record a customer discount in QuickBooks Desktop. And if you have stayed this far, please consider supporting by liking, subscribing, and sharing your thoughts in the comment section. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.